Hey YouTube, it's Jeff at Dark Moon Metals. Thank you for joining me for another one of my videos. Today, I am getting ready, and I'm going to be spending the rest of the week getting ready for a huge vending event I have coming up um, at the end of the month. And I am basically making everything I possibly can to fill up uh, my table and have as much variety as I can. One of the things that I want to make are some S-hooks. Went to the scrapyard, got a couple of decent lengths of, this is uh, just happens to be 7 sixteenths uh, round bar. Cut them into about foot long sections, and I'm going to be making S hooks. So, let's fire up the forge and get going. Tails done. You're going to come over to the. You would normally use the edge of your anvil. Um, my edges are absolutely horrible, so I'm using an auto body dolly instead. And that's what you're looking for. For the next side, if this end goes up, you want this end to go down. Alright guys, here is my jig. This is what I'm going to use to bend the actual S-hooks. Um, this is... Uh, the lip or the um, the end that we formed on the end of each bar and the way this is going to work I'm going to heat this up I'm going to quench the tip and the tip is going to lock in behind this bar and it's going to wrap around this piece of pipe This one came out pretty straight, but if you ever do need to adjust it, you can adjust it right on the anvil. Not too shabby. So just a little information on the bending jig. This is nothing more than a piece of angle iron, and I do have it mounted in the vise sideways just for filming purposes. Normally you could just take the flat lip of the angle and put it in the vise and it holds fine. Um, this I believe was inch and a half pipe, just a random piece I had laying around. And this, what I used for a stop, is a piece of the actual material I picked up to make the hooks out of. Now these are really easy to throw together. You can traditionally bend S hooks over the horn of the anvil, but I'm planning on doing a lot of them, so I made up the jig. And you can tell that I started out life as a welder, but I'm getting better. I'm getting into blacksmithing. Uh, that might amuse a few people out there. I know if you've ever watched Dirty Smith's channel, it would definitely amuse him. So, yes, I'm a welder in recovery. I'm learning blacksmithing. Or at least I'm trying to. So once your bends are completed, give it a nice wire brushing, clean it up, coat it with your favorite wax, oil, paint, whatever. But, very simple project, and if you go to a decent scrapyard and you get a good price on your steel, um, like I said, I got this stuff for 50 cents a pound, but I was getting lengths that were uh, over 10 feet long, and they were considered drops. So it was really nice to work with, it was nice and straight, it was worth it. Are my S-hooks as bright and shiny as some of the other smiths out here on YouTube? 
No. I'm still beginning. But the type of fares that I go to, I could throw this on the table, and even if I only charge $2 for it, and I make 12 of them, make 24 bucks, I'm still making a little bit of money, and I can put it back into my hobby, and I can get better at it. Because although I do do welding on a somewhat professional basis, and I do fabrication work, I am still very new as a smith. But this will help a great deal. And if you want to see another video like this, where these S-hooks are made into a chain, check out Dirty Smith's channel. Um, he's the one where I actually learned how to make these. Uh, he shows you hammering around the jig to get the, the hook to fall into shape, but uh, I just kind of muscle mine around and they come up pretty good. Uh, I guess if you have trouble you can also use um, one of the bending forks to help it around the jig too. But that's all there is to it. So don't think that it's something difficult, just go out and try it. And uh, I can guarantee you the end results, they might not look pretty the first couple of times, but uh, give it a good couple of hours of work, put your heart and soul into it, and you'll have something you'll be proud of by the end of the day. I'm going to leave you to think about that. So until the next video, this is Jeff at Dark Moon Metals. I'll see you again soon.